are all kinds of curettes, you guys. I can't begin to tell you how many different kinds. There are racks and racks of different kinds of curettes. Um, backward angles, different sizes, and you'll notice that they say the size on them. He's going to ask you by size. Okay? He wants a 4-0, backward angle. He wants a 2-0, backward angle. He's got, you, you, you just need to have him ready and pass him what he asks for that one. Okay? Key elevator. Key periosteal elevator. You need to be saying. Okay? Because that's its full name. Periosteal elevator. Okay? So, what does this do? Elevates the periosteum. And we all know what the periosteum is, right? What's the periosteum? The, the What's the periosteum? The it's something around, or not yeah. around the, I just, I know we went over it in class. Um, it's the outside layer of the bone, right? It's yeah. what contains the vascular and the nerves, right? It's transparent. You can't see it until they scrape it. It's that thin, okay? It's like saran wrap, if you want to think of it as like that. You really can't see it. What's it called again? Periosteum. I'm sorry, the, the whole... Uh, Key periosteal elevator. Okay. Okay. Um, Oxner or curved coker. Same thing that the cokers are used for. Got teeth on the end, it's going to hold. Some places used to use these for histers instead of the panies. Okay. Um, there's this brass file. They, these come in all different shapes, sizes. You want to change somebody's shape of their nose? What was that called? Changing the shape of their nose? Rhinoplasty. Okay. So they have different shapes of these smaller ones that are going to go. This would be used for an amputation. You want to make sure the ends of the bone are not rough. Any little thing that's on the end of that bone, when they go to stand and put on their prosthesis, they <laughs> the doctors will spend a little time making sure that the end of the bone is smooth. Okay? Probe and groove director. Fistula. Everybody remembers what a fistula is? Mm -hmm. What's a fistula? Uh, opening, opening, opening between both two. Both sides. Okay. And abnormal <laughs> opening, joining two structures that shouldn't be joined. Right? Okay, so fistula. I want to see where this fistula goes. I can put this probe down in there. When you do a gallbladder, you want to see where the common duct goes. You can put a probe down. Okay? You can find the track of something so you don't do it. You can put the groove director down first and make sure that the probe follows the track. Okay? It just guides it. Okay? Um, this is used a lot more than the group director. Pyonidal cyst is a big one that they use this for, okay? Because, or anal fistula. You've got all kinds of probes with the anal fistula. There's all kinds of shapes in there. <laughs> Wait till you get to work with those guys. Depth gauge, okay? I drilled a hole. <coughs> okay, I drilled a hole. What size screw do I put in? That's why you have this. You put this in the bone, okay? Push it down, okay? And then you read what site the doctor will tell you what's going on. Oh, that's like an awesome mentor. Okay? So this is how much you know, okay? So he'll hook it, he'll put it through one side, you drill the bone through, the hole through and through, right? Okay? And that's, um, we'll get out the different kinds of screws also so you can see all the different kinds of screws. All. Anybody do woodworking? Because they have this exact thing, yeah, kind of all. Isn't it the, like they uh -huh. manually have to do the, um, yeah. like a, make a like hole, hole yeah. so you don't splinter the wood. Uh -huh. Same deal with this. Most often used with I am rotting. Okay, so How you make a hole up? first you before up? you drill the hole so it doesn't splinter the bone. Okay, that's about the only time I use that. Um, Bennett retractor, hip pinning to the most common. Okay, same thing functions that this is, okay? So you put this around the bone, right? And then pull it up, keeps all the soft tissue out of your way while you're working. And the bone gives you leverage, something to pull against, okay? Believe me, it's really hard to do this on muscle, on the leg, <laughs> really, really hard. Okay? <laughs> She's almost ready to go. Hands, you're gonna do these, ganglion cyst on the hands, palm, carpal tunnel, these come in different Links here, you can use them for carpal tunnels. Bigger, deeper ones of these. Okay. Cobb, 
Elevator, same thing as the key, just a different style. Doctor preference. Some of the key guys like this. Okay. Gouge. Okay. So we want to take a bone graft. This is the most common time they do this. Use a gouge to take out that what kind of bone? Spongy. Calcium. Ring curette. Most often place use neuro. It's the only people I've ever seen use this. They go inside, take a, go around and use take out the disc, go around and get much of the disc free as they can, and then you're going to pass in one of these guys, and he's going to take out the disc that he just loosened up. Okay. You don't want to leave disc in there floating. So when they use this, they're going to grab, and what are you going to do? No, you're going to wipe it. Okay and they're going to go as fast as they can, okay? And you're going to have to keep up and wiping it. Same thing with the this and the um, frontier. They're going to go like this and pass it back to you, and you wipe them, and they go back for more. So, and these are kind of hard to grab because bone gets stuck in there, okay? Um, okay. Pituitary rongeurs. Must often use to grab soft tissue. Um, I've seen them also grab the cement with these before it's hard, like still soft. Okay, remember we talked about the cement gets hard very, very quickly. So they grasp this while it's still soft and pull it out. Any cement left in will restrict the joint. So they got to get it out quickly. If you don't get it out and it's hard, then you got to go take a um, osteotome and a mallet and you're going to have to chip away at it, okay? So they want to get it out while it's soft, okay? Oh, Most often it's used for soft tissue, though. <coughs> Specifically, disc and, what's the name of this? Pituitary. <laughs> this isn't long enough to get up your nose. They have, they have a longer version of this to do the transphenoid, okay? Um, Woman bone clamp. Okay, it's a reduction clamp, and you can put the plate underneath it and then put it against the bone and hold the plate in position while you drill the holes <coughs> to hold the, yeah, to reduce the bone, and the plate will then be held in position. Okay? Uh, hip, another, use both ends. You can use this end and retract or this end. Most often, total hips again. Double action, double action. The size bone that you're going to be getting, the angle they want to take it out is which one you're going to give them. And most people ask. The difference between the nerve hook and the probe is the probe has, has um, this is the probe. The, okay. the nerve hook numbers are or the yeah, lines see? on it, so you yeah. know how far you're going in. It has these calibrations on it. Remember, the only reason, the only way we know how that smooth. Okay. They're, the, they're almost exactly the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the only difference is that. And you notice the handle is a little bit friendlier on this one to actually use and get around. This one's not quite as easy to use. Okay, so that's, but this is what makes it a probe. Okay, and brain spatula, just what it sounds like. It's malleable. You're in somebody's brain and you want to retract their brain. You can put all different sizes of these in and hold back somebody's brain while they go back to the tumor or whatever structure they have they want to take care of. Okay? And Lewin bone clamp. Okay, so I've broken my hip. Broken the femoral head off of the hip. Okay, it's like a cork. How are you going to get this out of the acetabulum? So they'll hook this in on the side, pull it, and then cut off the rest, and then yeah. take it off. They also have a corkscrew, and it looks just like a corkscrew, and it fits down in the acetabulum, and you can use that in the same thing, and the same deal. They're going to pull and cut all the final attachments off. K-wire, Stein, and pins. Okay, let's go watch them. We can come back.